Hello everybody and welcome to the Grim Report. Well as you know, the past few days I've been paying tributes to the family. The Dark Waters family. First one was Akea, Akea and Vault. My mentor and his assistant. Two very good friends of mine. The next one were to people who were like just like they are, blood to me. You know? I'd do any just about anything for those four. Well, five actually. <laughs> Cause Friday, tomorrow, which is tomorrow, I will be doing one the king of horror. The first man other than Vault that I talked about. Getting in what I'm doing. Dark Waters. This will be kind of different. Because the how I want to display it. How I want to do it. I'm not going to do the blackout. You guys will see my face. But in a different way. See I got some screens over here. That are going to help me out. Because he's. This man's world could be, well, he is, since he's on YouTube, he is worldwide. But he's been on radio and everything like that. I want to make this a good experience. So, what I'm going to do is that, without further ado, I won't talk about what I'm going to do because I'm not going to do it right now. Without further ado, here is what you came for, what I'm famous for because of these people. The Grim Report. This one is interesting. This one is about Bobby Brown. Yes, the Bobby Brown. He is the latest celebrity to claim to have sex with a ghost. I know. Crazy, huh? There's also a video. This was He talked about this during a 2020 interview, basically. Bobby Brown wants to say he's had sex with a ghost. It's his prerogative. During his 2020 interview Tuesday night, the former New Edit Edition singer told his, a story, a new story about a bizarre experience involving a ghost. I brought this man. I bought this mansion in Georgia. This was a really, really spooky place. He told Robin Roberts. But yes, at one time I woke up, and yeah, a ghost. Uh, I was being mounted by a ghost. Brown didn't go into details about the supernatural sex session, such as when it happened, but he emphasized that he was completely sober. He did not, he did the deed when he did the deed. This is what he said. I wasn't high. I wasn't tripping. Bobby isn't the first celebrity to claim to got down with a ghost. First one I heard of. In April 2014, Ukraine-born actress Natasha B-L-A-S-I-C-K scared up a public publicity after claiming she had sex with a ghost on two occasions and found the experience really, really pleasurable. She said the first time it happened when she was alone in her room. She said, I was laying on the bed, and I felt something enter the room. I couldn't see anybody, she said, according to the mirror. I could feel that somebody was touching me, and the hands were pushing up against my will. And I could feel the weight of the body on top of me. I couldn't see anybody, but I could feel the pleasure, the energy, the warmth, pushing different directions. She added on that she enjoyed it. It wasn't one night stand either. The kinky ghost returned for a second romp a month later. In September 2012, Keisha aroused a lot of publicity for her newly released single, Supernatural, when she told Ryan Seacrest the song was inspired by a random romp with a male ghost. How do they know these are male? 
It's about experience with the supernatural, but in a sexy way, she told Seacrest. I had a very couple of had a couple of experiences with the supernatural. I don't know his name. He was a ghost. I'm very open to it. <laughs> Alexander Alexandria Holzer, a ghost researcher and Huffington Post blogger, says there have been reports of people having ghost sex, but says it feels heavy not so hot the people who are who reported having sex with ghosts report feeling pressure on them and even penetration but ghosts don't have warmth Hollizer said told Huffington Post when they when they're in the room it's very cold environment that's true if anybody knows anything about ghosts it's true so maybe they are being screwed by the invisible man I don't know, or the invisible woman in Bobby's case. Or whatever. Um, but yeah, this was kind of a freaky one when I looked it up. Oh, yeah, it's from the Huffington Post, by the way. Yes, uh, actual news news outlet in 2020 interview. They actually, if you look it up, they actually show the interview where he said that he had sex with a ghost. So, yeah, there you go. Just now, I'm, I'm telling you that right now, guys. It was... Just freaking weird when I looked at it. So, guys, you guys want to go check this out. It's the HuffingPost.com. A real news station, man. So, yeah, news is news. No matter, sorry, I got thirsty. No matter how creepy it is. Or paranormal it is. It's news. But I will tell you this. Ever since I started this channel. With Bolts. And DW's help. They work behind the scenes. They've. Got me so many subscribers. Walt and Lakea. Lakea, I heard she does the most. I didn't know where it was going to go. You know, I was basically doing this, sitting on my couch, doing exactly what I'm doing now, giving you guys the news. I didn't have any expectations. I thought, hey, I'll do a couple videos once a week and, uh, you know, put it out there. See how people like it. I started going on the live streams with Vault and them. And they started telling people, asking people to subscribe to my channel because they like my stuff. Well, okay, I watched my stuff. Well, she watches everybody's stuff. She's a real go getter. But within this time, I have met, I met, not just her, DW, and Vault. I met Chaos and Bam. And we just, we feed off each other. It's cohesive unit type deal. We each work with one individual, and that's how it works. But I didn't expect to go that far. I thought I was just one of those guys, just a fanboy. <laughs> I was a, I'm, I'm a big fan of Vault because of how his videos are, the creepy tone, that Zippo. I. I just got a big, became a big fan of his because just how his persona is. The, and yeah, I do go to every one of his live streams that I can. I mean, I'm there, you know, like a fanboy going to a concert. So, yeah, I actually my biggest moment, one of them, 
the first time the K had called the K had called me on the phone. I was like, holy crap. And that was how much she cared about what that, you know, I was getting cut off that night. She wanted to make sure I was okay and I wasn't mad at him. Of course not, you know. Didn't have no reason to really. I, but my internet was acting up. That was, oh man, that was a shocker. I'm like, holy crap. I mean, these two people were like celebrities to me. And to have her call me was, wow. Then the culmination of the whole experience. Oh man, it was. I was giddy as a, as a freaking kid. I don't. When Vault called me, we had a little chat. I won't tell you what it's about. No, not doing that. No. I was like, when I hung up with him, I was like, I was just dancing around in my near my bathroom over there, like a little kid, for about five minutes. This is embarrassing, but. I think this, if Vault, Vault, since Vault's gonna watch this, he's gonna find it kind of funny. Um, and Lakea too. But, like I said, the culmination of this, what I did to tributes, is gonna end tomorrow night with the, hopefully the biggest, the one of the greatest ones I've done for DW. I have he'll watch it or not, I don't know. But hopefully he will, and he'll like it. I can't tell you what it's about. Because I don't know what's about it. I will tonight when I look up the stuff, resources that I need to look up. So, guys, um, the recap. Bobby Brown. A few other... A few other celebrities have had sex with ghosts. Experienced warm feelings throughout their body. Now, if anybody knows about the supernatural, ghosts don't give you warm feelings, so... They're all cold. Cold nature, so to speak. Ask any expert. I'll tell you. So, with that said, leave a comment if you liked it. Thumbs up. Comments if you got something you want me to look up and you don't think you can do it on your own and you want it out there. Let me know. Comment about it. Um, thumbs up if you liked the video. And this is Grim signing off. Good luck. Good night. God bless.